Complete the figure below to show a rotational symmetry of order 3 about O. 3 marks. Now, before we solve this question, we need to understand what is rotational symmetry. And of course, we need also to understand what we mean by the order of rotational symmetry. The order of rotational symmetry is the number of times an object will fit onto itself when rotated at a certain point. Now, in this case, we have this figure and uh, we have uh, the point we are supposed to rotate is uh, O. Since it has a rotational symmetry of order 3, then it should fit onto itself three times when rotated about that point O. Now, what are you going to do to draw that figure and have a rotational symmetry of order 3? We need to take 360 degrees, which is uh, the sum of angles at a point O, that is when it goes for one complete rotation, and divide by 3 in order to find what angle will it make for each rotation. That is for three complete rotation, each rotation should go for 120 degrees. So when it goes for three rotations, uh, that will be 120 degrees times three, and that will give 360. So these are how we get that angle, 120. We get the sum of angles at a point O, which is 360. We divide by three, and that will give 120 degrees. So for one rotation, it will be covering uh, an angle of 120. Now, since we need to construct this one accurately, we shall uh, now measure 360, uh, 120 degrees here. So, having take your uh, protractor and we're going to measure from this point. Uh, the figure we measure 120 degrees so 120 degrees uh, should be somewhere here so we are measuring it from this uh, point going in a clockwise direction it should be somewhere there so we mark that angle it's very important to mark the angle so that is 120 now after marking the angle we take the ruler and then we join. Let me extend this. It is long, so that is 120 degrees about this. So that angle there should be 120. Let me uh, bring it back. Is it is there? They disappeared so this angle is 120 degrees now from there we need to take uh, another measurement this arm of this figure So I want to take this length, the length of that, and that one should also be the same. So I take that measurement there, and then I transfer it on the other side. So I mark there. Then there is a, there is a shape here that we should maintain this shape without changing it. There is this um, measurement here down here you should take. Now to have that rectangle, you can see that rectangle that is there, like a flag, that, that is making the shape of a flag. Now having done that, um, the other measurement of this uh, rectangle. I want to take the measurement of this rectangle. This rectangle is around um, one point. Look at it. This one should be around 1.2. So around 1.2. So 
so around 1.2 you should make sure that you construct um, the exact should let me mark here so 1.2 should be somewhere there should be somewhere there again here we should take uh, 1 1.2 1.2 there Having done that, I uh, want to construct that. that is how it should be it must be accurate and must be the same length uh, this arm here should be of the same length this arm with the other one then another thing that you need to be very keen about is the uh, the direction of this um, flag so as you can see when you're rotating in a clockwise direction ensure that this flag can see the direction that it is facing if it faces the opposite direction then that rotation is uh, having a problem now that is um, only one we need uh, another arm uh, this is how you're going to get because we've said that we have that is 120 we should have um, another angle measured and that one we can place we place the the protractor here again at the center here or and then on the other side I can measure now 120 from this side I can measure it from this side coming this way so it should be somewhere here be somewhere there so let me mark 120 is there so after getting that I take the runa and I join That is a point to so make a straight line. All right, that is how we're supposed to do it. Then don't forget the same measurement. Now let me take it back. It should be a mess somewhere. Somewhere I've messed here to maybe redo it again. Let me measure that angle again. So 120 here. So measured 120 was somewhere here. Uh, so let me mark it was somewhere here. Then you mark a straight, you use a ruler to make a straight line. You just repeat it. I don't know why this happened, it has disappeared. So that is the line. That is okay. So after making that line, me now take this length, this length again. So that this one should be very keen. But this, that length should be equal. So that measurement you 
makan akia mark that point then this uh, flag is shape of a rectangle that rectangle the shape must be sure that it is equal like that then we have taken the measurement of this uh, flag here there is a shape here as you can see this uh, rectangle the length was 1.2 1.2 centimeters so let me measure that 1.2 centimeters so it is a 1.2 centimeters So like that and the same 1.2 is 1.2 centimeters that is how it should be now, as you can see I'm trying to ensure that this shape here is uniform and I've taken the exact measurement of this uh, rectangle that is what I'm using Measure these so as you notice that this angle here will be 120 degrees then the other angle will be 120 degrees when you rotate this uh, figure about uh, O, you realize that it fits onto itself three times. And that is where we get the rotational um, symmetry of order three. So that is how you basically supposed to solve that question.